If there's one thing that is held true for Robert Morris men's lacrosse in its eight-year existence, it's the emphasis on teamwork every single day. They believe in the mentality that they are one unit. All 43 of them have come together this year to build a program that has been on the brink of national recognition for the last few weeks. On Tuesday, March 27th, the Colonials took on the Canisius Golden Griffins in their final game before NEC action. Hey, fellas, remember we talked about making sure that we put our words into action here. We've been talking about making sure that we are ready to start the quarter from the very first whistle of the game, play all the way through to the last. Remember we talked about self-control. Focus on the things that you need to be focusing on right now to do your job to the best of your ability, regardless of what that job is. Don't worry about anything else that we have no control over. Go out there and dominate every situation that you can. Got it? And with those final words, first-year head coach Andrew McMinn sent his Colonials to the opening face-off with the sun setting over Joe Walton Stadium for the first home night game in Colonial lacrosse history. Canisius was first to draw blood less than two minutes into action, but the Colonials were quick to respond with the equalizer. Hey, we're on Moose! We're on Moose! Read your man! Watch that up high, he's getting high! Shooting the scout, fellas, starting off shooting the scout. Shooting the scout. Good work right there, way to shoot that scout. Back and forth action continued before the Colonials strung together three unanswered goals to take control with a 5-3 lead at the end of the first quarter. Hey, we can keep working out of those 15s and see how Moose is just wide open, so we automatically get the two-on-ones. I mean, they give us the numbers right away without even having to dodge. Show! Show! Everyone's an option! Hey, Dill, great find right there! Good. Hey, fellas, much better job just starting out with execution of the shooting scout, number one. I mean, much better job. You guys see, when we put it there where we need to, it's going to go in the back of the net. You know, it's just not good at stick side or like at his head. we got to make sure we're shooting to the off stick side. Inside, I mean, we're shooting the scout as well. So just make sure we're doing that. Middies, you guys are creating transition right now. Just keep making sure that you are working in between the lines to outwork them and get up the field as fast as we can. Off the clears, off any defensive NGBs, we want to keep pushing those scenarios. It's a very high percentage right now that we're producing at, so keep pushing in those scenarios. Yeah. The Colonials tacked on two more to open the second before Canisius was able to counter. Keep shooting that scout. Keep pounding that scout. The Golden Griffins were later able to cut the deficit to two, scoring with just one second left to go in the half. The Colonials took an 8-6 lead into the locker room, where McMinn focused on discipline and execution. Well, as discipline right now is the main overall theme. You know, I mean, we talk about it all the time. Level of execution is essentially just discipline. How much do you hold yourself to do what the game plan is? How much do you hold yourself to actually shoot the scout? How much do you hold yourself to not commit a penalty when you see a guy's back? How much do you listen to the coaches if they say, go do this? You know, I mean, we're constantly addressing it. It's discipline. Hey, fellas, let's make sure that we take care of everything in our control like we talked about at the beginning of the game. First and foremost, just your attitude and mental approach right now. Let's make sure we're focused and ready to, for, for every opportunity that we're going to see and make sure you just keep focused on what you have control over. Don't get discouraged. Stay positive and keep pushing the scout as much as we can. Remember, we talked about the discipline and the level of execution. Hey, 30 minutes to work. 30 minutes to just work. As long as we work as hard as we can, we're in good shape. And the Colonials went to work right away, not letting the late first half Canisius goal affect them. They scored two more goals at the start of the third and didn't let their lead slip below three for the remainder of the game. Hey, good job right there, attack! 
After adding two more goals, the Colonials took a 12-8 lead into the final stanza, where McMinn wanted to keep pushing the attack. It's important right now to listen to the overall uh, approach of the game. We're going to start out making sure that we are pushing transition still. If we change that, you guys got to make sure that we're disciplined within it, that we do not make any risky decisions if we don't need to. First part of this quarter, though, we're going to make sure that we're looking to push. Let's keep the points of emphasis in mind of that two-second drill. That's why we did that this week. You guys saw when we were moving the ball right there, we can get the two-on-ones in the perimeter and open things up. As the final frame began, the Colonials used big saves and strong defense to stretch their lead to four. There it is. Let's go. One minute. Hey, one minute left. Holy show. Hey, finish with effort. Finish with class all the way through the final whistle. Let's go, Keys. You got us. We gotta close that three. One, two, three. Colonials. As the clock struck zero, the Colonials completed an all-around team win. Every day, this team stresses not having a big response to the result of a game. They never get too high or too low. Their focus is on improvement and constantly finding ways to get better. Even though the Colonials were victorious on this night, to them, it was just another day of working towards being the best they can possibly be.